Hello, this is Gary Wishon, the Happy Heathen, doing a video response to one anti-atheism. I first became aware of this YouTuber through the Quiet Atheist. Tell the truth, I'm kind of envious of the Quiet Atheist. He has a sense of inner peace to him. I'm quite jealous of that. But moving on. Anti-atheism seems to have this absurd notion that, one, Jim Jones is, or was, an atheist. And somehow that means something to atheism. What? Atheism is a lack of belief in a deity. There is no hierarchy. Hierarchy. There is just a lack of belief. Atheism, and there is no leaders. There's there's people who are more influential than others, but they can't tell us what to do because we wouldn't fucking do it. Unlike religion, where you have to do what you're told, or you're going to hell. Or that's what you believe. I'll give you an example. Jim Jones, using religion, conned people into treating him like a god, or the son of God. Uh, Sam Harris, good speaker, very influential. Richard Dawkins, great speaker. Richard Dawkins can get a crowd together. No problem. His books and his fame and his intellect can attract people to anywhere he wants them to be. Because enough people would be interested in to hear him speak. If he started going off about the future people would be listening. But if at any moment Richard Dawkins or Sam Harris were to say, now you have to surrender your will to me because only I can lead you to a utopian future. The whole crowd would be split up to various camps. First and foremost, the people closest to him would be trying to see if he's having a stroke. The other part of the crowd would be calling an ambulance because obviously there's something fucking wrong. Another part of the crowd would be saying, oh, fuck no, and the rest would be leaving. You can't get an atheist to fall for that kind of bullshit. Using religion, <clears throat> Jim Jones used got them to move, relocate their entire lives to first to California, then to fucking Guyana? Richard Dawkins could talk himself a horse and no one would be relocating their lives to fucking Guyana. Religion. A belief in a big fucking sky daddy got these poor bastards into Guyana. Armed guards kept what ones that woke up to the fact that this is fucking crazy kept them there. And even though I'm sure a lot of the people who eventually drank the Kool-Aid actually it was Flavor-Aid not Kool-Aid drank it because God wanted them to. Well, at least that's what they believe because Jim Jones said so. The rest had a gun to their heads. And a very, very lucky few managed to sneak off into the jungle when no one was looking. You could, Richard Dawkins could argue all day long and no atheist would be drinking Kool-Aid. 
it's, we don't work like that. So what if he you got a recording of Jim Jones saying he's an atheist? It's ultimately that means nothing. He was a sociopath who used religion. Jim Jones has dick to do with me or any other atheist trying to paint the picture that includes all atheism because Jim Jones is asinine. Also, I noticed another video saying poor innocent Christians are being beaten by atheists. It's some gibberish about a church in China. Okay, I have to point this out to you, and I don't know why I have to point this out to you. China is communist. There is a difference between communism and atheism. Communism is against God because they want everyone to follow communism. Atheism is just a rejection of God. Also, the fact that there's a church in China, or was a church in China, I'm sure they just relocated. Well, I hate to point this out to you. I did this in another video, Atheism versus History. Those priests in China, if they're anything like what Stalin had set up, are most likely working for the Chinese government. Stalin had KGB agents, NKVD agents, all throughout the Eastern Orthodox Church in Russia. Why? Intelligence gathering. Why else would they allow church to exist at all? Communism is using Christianity in China for information gathering. How does that have anything to do with atheism? Can you clear that up? <sighs> Enough of that. Uh, one favor I want to ask of anyone who watches this video. You know, in, my, in a lot of my videos, I talk about my distrust of religion and how I think that if they had to have had a chance to go for a theocracy in America, they would jump for it. Ask this question of people you know or people you barely know. Ask this big question of anyone you think comfortable asking this question. If there was a presidential candidate or a political party that says being gay is a mental disease, elect us, and we'll have it declared a mental disease and force people into treatment. Would you vote for that party? Ask that question of people and be ready to be scared because what people I asked, they all said, well, well a lot of them have said, oh, yeah, that sounds like a logical thing. Then again, I live in the fucking Bible Belt, so my results may be skewered. Uh, ask that question, then leave comments down below. Also, I'm going to put a couple of videos like usual of other YouTubers. Remember the prerequisite of anyone under 2,000 views, unless it's a very damn good video. Goodbye.